welcome back students in this session as a continuation of our uh, foundation and concepts on matrices we are going to look into possible operations on matrices well it is part of matrix algebra that means the entire matrix you treat it as one unit or one quantity and you can add another similar unit to this unit meaning when i say unit the matrix another similar matrix can be added and uh, subtracted also and when you multiply we will see what are the relevant rules that exists to ensure that multiplication is defined for a pair of given pair of matrices and when we add matrices the rule is very simple very simple like matrices like matrices so when i say like matrices matrices of same order containing the same number of rows and uh, columns such matrices can be added together or you can find the difference also so let us just begin with example for every operation addition let me give a simple 3 by 2 let me give 1 comma 2 comma 3 3 comma 5 comma 7 followed by another matrix we wish to add to this matrix when we wish to add another matrix to this matrix essentially the second matrix must be in the same order as the first matrix which means it has to be 3 by 2 also the first matrix is in order 3 by 2 second matrix also of order 3 by 2 and uh, let us uh, write the entries like this i am writing minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 in column 1 of the b matrix i am writing 2 4 and 6 in column 2 and uh, we can perform both operations because both are like matrices we can add them or subtract second from the first so first we are going to do the addition which mean in symbol on lhs i denote it as a and b i write the relevant elements belonging to matrix a and matrix b and i continue to add so what we mean by continue to add it is not addition of mere number but addition of matrices but matrix addition rule is very similar to addition of two numbers b add the same addresses what do you mean by address the position a11 position b11 meaning first row first column the first row first column element in a is added to first row first column element of b so which means i get the answer 1 plus minus 1 and similarly i have to add corresponding these elements i want the students to understand they are called corresponding elements corresponding A one one, B one one, they are corresponding. A one two and B one two corresponding. Now corresponding elements, let us add. So it is three by, I'm sorry, three with two. Similarly, two plus negative three, five plus four, three plus negative five, followed by seven plus six. so it simply means we are adding elements in the respective positions which are called corresponding elements and the answer we get is 0 5 from first row 
minus 1 and 9 in row 2 minus 2 followed by 13 in third row. So that completes uh, the process of addition. And similarly, subtraction you can carry out. Subtraction you can carry out. Probably I can give a different, different exercise. So let A be 1, 3 and 2, 4. Matrix A which is a 2 by 2. And when I say I can subtract, I have to take a similar matrix like matrix 2 by 2 only. So let me say this is 0, minus 2, minus 5 and minus 7. And uh, I want to perform this operation A minus B. So when I want to do A minus B, yes, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 in column 2, subtraction 0, minus 2, minus 5, minus 7, done. I have done uh, representing the matrices only. Now you follow it by subtracting the corresponding or what we say the same position A11 followed by B11, the corresponding elements. So, 1 is taken, 0 is taken and you are subtracting, 3 is taken, minus 2 is taken and you are subtracting, 2 is taken, minus 5 is taken and you are subtracting, 4 is taken and minus 7 is taken. I'm sorry, 4 is taken, minus 7 is taken and subtract. So you get 1 minus 0, 3 minus of minus 2, 2 minus of minus 5, 4 minus of minus 7. So as a result, I get as a result of the subtraction operation A minus B, what I get is 1, 3 plus 2 gives 5, so 1, 5 filled in row 1, 2 plus 5, 7 and 4 plus 7, 11 in row number 2. So subtraction A minus B gives me 1, 5 in row 1, 7 and 11 in row 2. So you can see the addition subtraction between the a uh, pair of matrices is quite simple. You can extend this operation, extend this rule to more than two matrices also.
matrices were given the third matrix z let me write it as uh, 3 10 5 0 now let us perform this operation it is a composite operation one addition one subtraction so he extended to three matrices therefore x plus y minus of z so this can be performed as i am not going to write again repeating the same matrices on the rhs in rhs what i wish to do i want to take up the corresponding elements i am going to highlight now first row first column first row first column and first row first column from x from y and z so what happens is from x the element i have taken is 1 and from y the element is 3 and it is added but the element what you take from z has to be subtracted so it is negative of 3 negative of 3 followed by similarly the position 2 2 x 2 2 y 2 2 i am sorry <coughs> x 1 2 y 1 2 and z 1 2 gather them together i make 0 plus minus 2 minus of 10 and similarly 2 plus minus 4 minus of 5 that is gathering position second row first column from x from y and z and continue position to 2 so this is minus 1 added to plus 1 from y matrix and subtract 0 from z matrix and as a result you get x plus y minus z the answer is 1 minus 12 2 minus 9 makes minus 7 0 in position 2 2 so we get 1 minus 12 in row 1 minus 7 and 0 in row 2 so that completes the uh, com composite operation of addition subtraction combined in one operation involving three matrices so similarly this can be extended to any number of matrices fine let us now understand what means what is the meaning of multiplying matrices together i wish to multiply two matrices here the addition and subtraction processes were very easy it was a matter of taking up the corresponding elements from both matrices but in the case of multiplication the students have to observe very carefully the first thing the requirement for two matrices or for the product of two matrices to exist there is a criterion so let us observe what is the criterion the criterion for product of matrices product of matrices product to exist so students must understand it is not possible that in all cases you can multiply matrices it is not possible the product itself may not exist it may exist so now you are going to simply see under what conditions the product will exist i try to multiply two matrices a with order let us say uh, i cross j when i say i cross j i represents the number of rows j represents number of columns and i am going to take up the second matrix let us say p cross q 
it's p by q matrix so one matrix i by j matrix the other one is p by q matrix where i represents number of rows j represents number of columns for a similarly p represents number of rows q represents number of columns in b so for the product what is the product a b for a b to be defined i can say a b exists or a b defined what should be the requirement very simple i am highlighting the number of columns in first matrix which is j i am highlighting rows number of rows in second matrix they must be same so this is a essential condition students should observe they cannot haphazardly take two matrices and start multiplying them together okay it may not exist at all so product exists only if the number of columns in first matrix matches with number of rows in second matrix for example for example i am going to deal with only order and i i wish students to understand whether product is possible or not a is a matrix order let us say 3 by 2 and b is a matrix which is a 3 by 3 matrix okay now what happens to the product ab so very simple product ab is i can say not defined why it is not defined very simple number of columns in matrix a number of rows in matrix b they are not same for that simple reason students can immediately understand no need to waste time in trying to multiply it is just not possible product does not exist or product is not defined fine i'll give you a case where a is a 3 by 3 matrix b is also a 3 by 3 matrix is product ab defined let me put a question is ab i'm sorry is ab defined so the answer is yes why are we writing such a very basic uh, uh, trivial questions like this yes because now as a part of our 2020 onwards your next year 2021 uh, ai ssce examination also you have one fourth of the question paper as mcq one fourth so 20 uh, one mark questions are expected in uh, mathematics out of which you can expect questions of this kind in one marks they can ask you whether product is defined or they can ask you if the product should be defined what should be the value of p what should be the value of uh, uh, q etc such things can happen now i am going to put you a different question is ba defined is ab defined is already answered now let us try to answer is ba defined so put the order of b first put the order of a next and try to see whether now b becomes the first matrix so the number of columns of b and number of rows in a they must match here it is simple because it's 3 by 3 and 3 by 3 it matches therefore therefore the answer is yes both for the order of multiplication ab also order of multiplication ba also and to add to the foundation concept in this case ba and ab we found both are defined both are defined general property please uh, the students can make can make note ab the product ab for matrices in general not equal to b a in other words we say 
द मैट्रिक्स प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट कॉम्यूटेटिव और मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन यू कैन मेक नोट इट इज नॉट कॉम्यूटेटिव इन जनरल वेन वी से नॉट कॉम्यूटेटिव इट इज अर जनरल प्रॉपर्टी you may of course find come up with a unique example sir i took this matrix i took another matrix i found uh, the straight order reverse order i found the product to be equal it can happen in unique cases but not in general so commutative property is not there okay but because we have come to multiplication distributive property applies distributive property students know from lower classes for example matrix a multiplied with the sum of e b and c multiplied with the uh, sum of b and c yes it is a b plus a c this is defined i'm sorry provided it is defined b plus c when we add b and c you know b and c must be of same order but when you do multiplication with a with the sum of b and c you have to ensure the uh, the definition of a product is fulfilled the product exists when it exists a b plus a c is same as a times of b plus c just as in regular algebra so the matrix algebra has follows a distributive property multiplication is not commutative i am just repeating okay now we are going to see an example how we can multiply to begin with let us do a multiplication of Yeah, two by two matrix with another two by two matrix. Let me take name a matrix P as one minus two, four, and five, and matrix Q as uh, eight, five, minus two, and minus three. Let's put it this way. now let us uh, try to understand how the product has to be formed you can see there is uh, the matrix p has row 1 row 2 column 1 column 2 yes well known similarly q also but how to frame now i am going to write product p q product pq now what is the product pq what is the order of product pq expected to be p is order 2 by 2 q is also made of order 2 by 2 now what the product will be will it be 4 by 4 will it be 2 by 4 or will it be 4 by 2 so students may not have any anxiety please 2 by 2 so it's simple 2 by 2 multiplies another 2 by 2 as we already made a condition for product to be defined the number of columns of p number of rows in q they must be equal you strike it off you simply strike it off after scoring it off you are left with some number 2 by 2 so that should be the order of the product 2 by 2 the leftover numbers after scoring out number of columns of first matrix number of rows of second matrix you have the remaining numbers indicating the order of the product so that is also 2 by 2 <clears throat> so which means you have to uh, be prepared to fill position 1 fill position 1 2 1 1 1 2 2 and 2 2 how are we going to fill these positions One one position is filled with, okay, one one. So when I say one one, take 
rho 1 from p matrix column 1 from q matrix <coughs> i am highlighting rho 1 from p matrix column 1 from q matrix now we have to multiply the corresponding don't don't again uh, bring in that uh, corresponding 1 1 and 1 1 1 2 and 1 2 not that corresponding I have highlighted the row here I have highlighted column here so when you are traveling along the row in P matrix you will be traveling along the column in Q matrix so along the row take the first along the column take the first and uh, multiply that pair of numbers which is now 1 times 8 1 times 8 and add next product will be second number along the row chosen in P second number in the column chosen out of Q so that is negative 2 and negative 2 so which means I have to write negative 2 times negative 2 so that is what occurs in evaluate the product and uh, after evaluation you will get answer that is the uh, element to be in position 1 1 of the product pq is that uh, fine now what to do with position 1 2 now our focus very simple you are going to column 2 so take column 2 of q matrix but you are on row 1 so you are still taking element from row 1 of p and now the corresponding when i say corresponding do proper pairing of numbers now 1 is to be paired with 5 multiply them minus 2 is paired with minus 3 so the first elements in the corresponding row here column here minus 2 from row 1 minus 3 the second entry in column 2 so let us do the multiplication 1 into 5 plus negative 2 times negative 3 how are we to fill second row first column very simple now I have to shift to second row of second row of P matrix and column 1 of Q matrix and uh, take the first with the first second with the second multiply corresponding multiplication gives 4 and 8 to be multiplied 5 into minus 2 to be multiplied and uh, similarly second row second column so second row of P matrix that is containing 4 and 5 second column of Q matrix containing 5 and minus 3 and we are going to choose the first versus first second versus second so it is the product 4 into 5 plus 5 times minus 3 so that gives the that completes the product PQ the answer is going to be 8 plus 4 12 5 plus 6 making 11 here 32 minus 10 so I am writing the answer 22 here 20 minus 5 times 3 is 15 20 minus 15 giving answer 5 so this is the value of the product PQ evaluated as students can observe there is no way now you can uh, check whether the answer is right or wrong okay unless students in every step you do carefully make sure you have your entries are correct your multiplication is correct simplification is correct there is no way after coming to the end okay no way to check whether you have given the right answer or wrong so to ensure you are getting the full marks for it it can be a simple two marks question a multiplication of matrices so when you do that ensure every step is evaluated correctly okay so in this uh, uh, session i have just covered a simple multiplication of uh, 2 by 2 our future session the next session continue watching 
and uh, students can expect 3 by 3 multiplication or uh, multiplication of uh, mixed orders but satisfying the product okay satisfying the criterion for product to exist okay and then we will take up CBSE NCERT exercises one by one okay uh, thank you continue to watch our videos bye